So today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be baking with baby powder. The reason that we are going to be baking with baby powder is because I noticed that my cover, my CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder gives me flashbacks. So when I saw this on my desk, I was like, oh, let's try this and see how it works. I already have my eyes, eyebrows, and foundation down. I've set my foundation using my CoverGirl Translucent Powder. Well, not really much translucent because it gives me flashback, but so we're basically what we're gonna do is highlight and contour and then bake using the baby powder and see how it works so for us. To make life more easier for myself, I have popped out my cream contour shades from my contour kit. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the warm coral shade that we're gonna be using to conceal on my under eye area. This is cream, which we're gonna be using to highlight my T-zone and under eyes. And this is chocolate, chocolate, we're going to be using to contour. I'm gonna do now you just blend all that out using a damp beauty blender. Now, since we're technically adding another layer of the cream color, well, I just dropped it again. So, like, as I was saying, since we're technically going in, adding another layer of this cream color on top of this, I'm just going to go ahead and set that with my loose powder from CoverGirl. I'm going to dip this in there pretty much and just use the same beauty blender that I used to blend it out so I can get into those corners and just set that. Because I want this to really like set and not move. We're gonna let that bake for a little while ahead with this elf powder brush looks like this and we're gonna just swipe off the excess and then just get ready to highlight okay so now we're gonna go in with cream and just like instead of doing a triangle we're gonna do kind of like a U almost crescent so we're gonna go in with this brush it's a flat brush and then just pick up our cream contour and just hold it up high so we're looking up so that you can get under where the pink is or coral and then just so you can see I'm dabbing it on first because I don't want to just in case like the warm coral didn't set completely. I didn't want to move it, so we're just gonna dab it. We're gonna go in with my Real Technique blender and blend all this out. And it fell again. Okay. So. Now, because this is a cream, it does take a while to blend out. So be prepared to lose your hand. This is where the fun part begins. We are gonna set our under eye area with the baby powder. So I'm just gonna grab the lid of my CoverGirl translucent powder and just add some baby powder to that. Oh, that's a lot of baby powder. That's a lot of baby powder. Okay, so I'm gonna grab beauty blender. Let me just empty some of this out somewhere. I'm gonna grab a beauty blender, go in with this one, and just dip it in there. Up, and then just sit. we're actually going to bring this up to our nose as well
and then we're done. Now we just have the and contour. We're done. We just have the contour and then bake right here to sharpen up the contour. For the contour, we're gonna go in with chocolate and just contour our face. So we're just gonna start from right here. We're not gonna drag it down too much. Just right here. Same with the other cheek. Now we're gonna add a line under our lip just to give the illusion that our lips are bigger than they really are. So, oops, sorry. Like that. Then we're just gonna do our forehead now. I want a little forehead. So we're gonna bring it down here. We're gonna go down our temples as well, so it's gonna connect to our cheek. I'm just gonna elongate this line a little bit. Now our nose, we're gonna just do real quick. So I'm just gonna go right in between those two lines and then just draw a line. like that and we're good we're going with this black short contouring brush from elf and buff this out so just buff it onto our hairline And now we're gonna go in with another C contour brush and do our nose. So. Now in order to sharpen up that bit of a contour right there, we are going to go in and just add some baby powder there, in a line. So we're gonna grab a baby powder in our cup, dip it in here again. And just don't do it. Go to it. Like so. I'm just going to keep packing it on. That's about it. Blush brush from Elf. We are going to brush off our our powder. So my shirt's like covered in baby powder right now. It's ridiculous. So we're just gonna go in and brush it off. We're gonna go in and blend out the contour since our powder is out the way. And just finish brushing away any powder. So, right off the bat, I can tell that my whole T-zone just looks white. So, I'm not sure it's because it's just straight up baby powder or and it's not mixed with anything or if I just added way too much. So, I'm going to have to say that baking with baby powder 
may work on fairer skin just on not on my skin complexion because you can see the at least i can see the white when i look in the mirror so i'm not really liking it 